Hello and welcome. I'm Bill Skolodowski uh, from the blog of the same name, BillSkolodowski.com, and it's time for another edition of What's New Wednesday. Today, how to get a home button on your phone no matter what iPhone you have. I know, right? I have, now for me, I have an older iPhone. You've probably seen me talk about it before. I've got one of the old ones, the 8 Plus with the real live physical home button on it. I teach classes on using technology for adult learners like us. And uh, a lot of times I will have someone who has recently traded in their older iPhone, a six, a seven, an eight, something like that. And eight was the last one that had the home button. And then they went 10, 11, et cetera. And those don't have home buttons. And so sometimes there's some confusion over how to use the phone without a home button on it, okay? Uh, other people just kind of like that idea of a button that they can actually push to get them back to home without that. If you have a new one, if you have one of the new iPhones, you know there's that, there's that swipe kind of a move that you have to swipe from bottom to top to get back to the home screen. We're going to take care of that today with a little known feature uh, in the accessibility settings of your iPhone. So, and by the way, even if you have an iPhone with a home button, like my big 8 here, you can still use this feature and get some extra function out of it. Stay tuned for more. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome. If you're watching us live here on Facebook, that's great. If you're watching the replay, awesome. Please feel free to share this with uh, friends or family or colleagues and business associates who you think uh, might get some use out of it. And later on, we'll tell you how you can get our brand new tip sheet for the uh, Siri tips and tricks. So stick around for that. But first, let's dig into the phone and uh, talk a little bit more about this uh, accessibility setting that will let us use a home button no matter whether we have a, uh, a phone or not. Okay, so with your phone, now, of course, if you have an older phone, six, seven, eight, you know, like I said, you still do have the physical home button, which, you know, if I'm on a back page somewhere and I press the home button, it automatically takes me back to home. Or if I'm in an app somewhere like settings, it automatically takes me back to home. Okay. And like we said, if you have one of the newer ones, you can do the same thing with that swipe up from the bottom. But hear me out and maybe you'll like this idea even better. So, on your phone, doesn't matter with whatever variety you're using, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, it doesn't matter. Go into the settings, our, our friend, the settings up there, you know, the old silver gear. And what we're looking for is a uh, function or setting for accessibility. See there, I'll bring it right up to the top. Accessibility. Now, a lot of these functions and features are for folks that have um, disabilities, hearing disability, loss, low vision, things like that. So these are a lot of the functions and features that uh, help folks with that. But you can use them just the same for all kinds of different reasons. So tap on accessibility and features, uh, in settings rather. And then we want to go down to where it says the, um, oh, excuse me, the touch button there. <laughs> Lost my voice for a second. The touch setting there, right? So touch on touch. And what we're going to do is turn on the first thing on the list there, which is assistive touch. Okay. Uh, like it says, assistive touch allows you to use your iPhone if you have difficulty touching the screen or require an adaptive accessory. That's, we're going to just play with it no matter what. So turn it on. Okay. So you have to touch on it and then you go in there and you flick it on. Okay. And look what it does. It creates, look at that little button that just appeared there. Did you see that? Here, I'll turn it off. The button goes away. Look right below where it says customize top level though when I turn it on. It puts a little button there. It's a on-screen button, but it's kind of like the home button, isn't it? And in fact, if I put my finger on it and all I'm doing is I'm dragging it around the screen, I can put it wherever I want. Really, I you know, if I want to put it down in the center, down at the bottom there, that's fine. It'll stay there, okay? I can drag it up to the top. I can put it anywhere I want. For now, let's just leave it down there at the bottom. All right, and even when I go back to the home screen, it's still there, okay? It's still down there, and there it is. Now, what, what can I do with that? Well, I'm glad you asked, okay? Back at this assistive touch menu here in settings, all right, where it says custom actions right there, 
All right, those are all the things you can do with the on-screen home button that we've just added, all right? So single tap takes me back to home, cool, all right? Double tap opens up a full-on menu that gives you some other things. Now, yours might be different. I need to tell you that. Yours might be different. And if it is, the only thing you need to do is tap on any of those listings, like where it says double tap. If I just tap right on double tap, here's all the things that I can do when I double tap on that home button. There's a long list of things, right? I've got it on open menu, but you might go down to, oh, I don't know, uh, screen rotation or notifications or restart the phone or take a screenshot or turn on Siri. There's a bunch of things there. I'm going to leave it on the menu so because I want to show that to you in a second, okay? Then there's long press, which we talked about last week, didn't we? We just kind of lay your finger on there and, and leave it for a second, all right? I've got that set so it takes me right to the control center of the phone. I'll show that in a second as well. All right, and then 3D touch, depending on your phone model, is whether you press hard and kind of lean on it a little bit as well. Some of the phones, some of the newer ones, don't have that anymore. And some of the very old ones never did. <laughs> so mine was right, uh, my iPhone 8 is right in the period where it still had it. So if you have that, fine. If you don't, don't worry about it, okay? But now, like I said, once I've used that, okay, I'm going to use the physical home button to go back to the home screen, all right? And our, our on-screen button is still down there. You can, you can see it down at the bottom, right? I can move it anywhere I want. I can put it right in the middle there, or I can put it, you know. So now if I'm on a different screen, or I'm, let's open something up. Let's open up, I don't know, uh, 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 my reminders list there, right? All right, if I'm on my groceries list, all right? I can still use that home button there just as if it were the regular home button. And again, this is more for folks that have an iPhone 10 or 11 and maybe don't like that swipe motion, okay? But you can use both, all right? So if all I do is tap on it, tap, it takes me back home, okay? And that's fine. I mean, that's kind of cool. For me, not a big deal because I can use the physical home button that I actually have the real live switch on there. Now, what is cool, however, is the other things that you can do. Remember I said a double tap is, for me, I have it set on mine, is to open up a, a bigger menu of things. So if all I do was one, two, Look at that menu that it opens up, and I can get quickly to notifications. I can get quickly to Siri or the control center, or even to my wallet to use Apple Pay on some things, okay? So, and then in the middle is still home, and it takes me back to home just in case I'm not at the home screen. Now, before we go, I have one other little kind of bonus tip for you, and that is you can also use these accessibility controls to actually have the phone flash at you using the flash flashlight slash camera flash on the back. It's a superhero, isn't it? The flash? Yes. But anyway, let's go back into accessibility settings. All right. In accessibility settings, if you go back to the main accessibility settings screen, and how did I get there? By hitting the back button up at the top left part of the screen there where it says accessibility. Okay. The one I'm using here now I wanted to show you is also under the uh, audio visual settings. See audio, audio visual down there? If I tap on audio visual, one of the options at the very bottom is LED flash for alerts, which means if you're, I don't know, if you're not paying attention or you have the sound turned all the way down and somebody texts you or you get a notification from an app, but if you have the sound turned down, you're not going to hear it. Obviously, you've got the sound turned down. But if you have the LED flash turned on, okay, now when you get a notification, the little flashlight on the back is going to flash a couple of times, make a nice bright light, and maybe that gets your attention instead of the sound. Just a thought, okay? That's something that people have asked me about a long time. What if happens if I'm, you know, not paying attention or if it's in a, you know, I got the, the movie or the TV blasting or something like that. You can turn that on and it'll make a visual indication, a flash that, hey, you've got a new notification or a message or something coming through. All right. That's going to do it for today with our home button on screen. Kind of cool. Still got it there. One, two. There it is. And I can use it. Okay. 
dig in, find it, give it a try. Remember, you can't break it. If all, you know, if you decide you don't want it, right, all you have to do is go into accessibility and turn it off. Just go back to touch and go to assistive touch and just turn it off. And it goes away. Now you got to use your regular home system. There you go. That's going to do it for today. I appreciate you joining us. If uh, you haven't done so yet, let me offer you the option to jump on over to our website, to BillSkolodowski.com, where you can get all the videos. Uh, anytime there's a new video, it goes right on the blog like the next, the next day. And then on the homepage there of the blog, you'll see there's a little sign up button that says click me. And if you do that, you will get our weekend recap email. Just one email a week. It's not crazy or anything like that. Sign yourself up right on the blog. And what you'll do is on Sunday, you'll get an email from me that has the past week's two videos. So a reminder of the two videos that were out in the past week, just in case you might have missed them. And it will also have the free handout because on Almost every iPhone Friday, we have a little classroom handout, you know, of like how to do the thing we just talked about. And you'll get that for free as well in the very same email, so no big deal. Now, also, by the way, I just did this. Take a look at this. This is so cool. I created a brand new Siri tip sheet as well. All right. So this is Siri tips to make your iPhone fun and easy. It's about three pages, about 15 different things that you can have Siri do to make your iPhone life easier. Fun stuff like, you know, roll the dice or pick a card or get directions to somewhere. Super useful things like, hey, where's the nearest Starbucks and how do I get there? That kind of stuff. So you will also get that when you sign up for the weekend newsletter. So, wow. If you haven't yet, jump on over to BillSklodowski.com. Sign yourself up and there you go. All right, that's going to do it for What's New Wednesday. I appreciate you being here with me. Again, if this is your first time, thank you for joining. If you have questions or comments, or if there's something you'd like more information about, leave it in one of the question spaces down below, whether you're watching here on Facebook or on YouTube or on the blog. I read and respond to all of them. And we've already had a few folks uh, write in with questions, and they've become videos for us. So, way to go. <laughs> all right, have yourself a good week. We'll see you Friday for iPhone Friday. Uh, thanks for joining us. Take care. Bye-bye.